it's Friday night again and family night and I have quite a few people over tonight. My aunt Tati Dandan came home from France so I'm just excited to, to share some wonderful uh, dishes with her because she's my inspiration. I'll have her on um, on my videos, I promise. She's a lot of fun. We laugh a lot together. But I love this dish that I'm going to prepare today, which is my halibut with a wine um, tomato broth and lots of turmeric. And I love it because it is now 25 till 5. I've been running around like a lunatic. I'm, I'm planning, organizing this big food day event at Yale in the middle of campus. Lots of excitement, dance, music, uh, celebrities coming. Anyway, very exciting, but also very time consuming. So it is now 25 till five, and my guests arrive at about 6.15. Somehow I'm gonna put it together. Um, and what I love is I'm gonna have it all ready to go. And then about 30 minutes before they arrive, I'm gonna put it in the oven, and it is wonderful. And you're gonna see how it's just a question of putting wholesome ingredients together. It's very simple, but what makes it all come together is those wonderful flavors that are very simple. Look at these beautiful colors, red, yellow, orange, uh, and then the turmeric, which gives it that brilliant, flamboyant orange color. And of course, wine and lemon. So, I have halibut. I love fresh halibut. Um, lay it out in a, um, in a uh, baking pan, little uh, sea salt, and generously sprinkle with turmeric. And I, I, again, I love turmeric, I love turmeric for its flavor, um, not very strong flavor in fact, but mostly um, just gentle, mild flavor, beautiful, vibrant color, and uh, very good for you. So what a wonderful, what a wonderful ingredient spice to have. So, very generous. Don't be afraid. It's going to be fine. And then, there we go. Around. Then I'm going to put tomatoes all around. And I love to use yellow and orange and red tomatoes, mostly for the beauty of it, because it's, look how festive it is. It's just beautiful. And I'm going to put them all around. And usually I also find some beautiful yellow big tomatoes, but I couldn't find yellow big tomatoes today, so it's all going to be red. Apologies, but I'm going to just spray, uh, spread them all around. Again, don't touch the fish yet. It's all around the fish. And quickly do this. And literally, in the time that I'm going to be talking to you, this dish is going to be ready except for the, the baking. But the baking you do when the guests arrive and you're having a glass of wine, just beautiful. It's a very guest-oriented kind of a, of a uh, dish because you can participate with your guests and you don't have to labor over it in the kitchen. Okay, so there we go. For now, nice, fresh, beautiful, ripe tomatoes. Good. Then I'm going to spread um, pour some um, white wine just on the tomatoes, not on the on the on the uh, fish, just on the tomatoes all around. And just it's gonna create that nice broth. And here, because I made a little bit more than I asked for in the, on the website recipe, I put a little bit more because so I think I called for six olive pieces here. I think I have nine. Again, I have quite a bit of company. Okay, then I am going to put the lemon slices over the fish and just be generous. Not only because it's going to give it that wonderful flavor, but because it's just so beautiful and enticing. I really, I, it's just bursting with color and bursting with flavor. So it's wonderful. So let me just put these. Oh, and I'm rushing here, only because I want you guys, I, I have plenty of time now, but I just want you guys to enjoy this and not get too impatient watching it on YouTube. So there we go, look at this, it's like I planned it exactly. Okay, then 
I'm going to put some uh, fresh cilantro or parsley or basil, if that's what you prefer, over the whole thing. Look how oh, beautiful it is. Just, I'm going to show you when, I, when I'm completely done. Just beautiful. Some fresh pepper. Oh, mm, beautiful. And olive oil. And I, it is just two tablespoons. I'm not, I'm not gonna put all this. I just need two tablespoons. But I wanna show you, I love these very simple little spread bottles because they allow you to really just pour very little bit wherever you want it. And it's just, look at that. And you get that at a little supermarket, nothing. You, you know, it's like a ketchup bottle. Ruben, look at this. I haven't even made a dance yet. That's about one tablespoon. That's about two tablespoons, but because I have a little bit more, I'm going to do a little bit more. A little bit more fish, a little bit more um, olive oil. And that's it. Look at this. Can you see? It is so festive, and the taste is just melt melts together not melts but just combines together absolutely beautifully enjoy and it's gonna go in the oven